you all have been waiting for please turn your attention to the back of the wild aunt and lane jam and please welcome the beautiful bride with her parents thank you Alhamdulillah, another joyous occasion. These are one of the greatest days within Islam that we can do good deeds, the 10 days of the Hijjah. Any deed, good deed done in these 10 days is better than any other day. And the Prophet ﷺ in a hadith, he says, there is no structure that's built that's more beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala within Islam than marriage. 
Why? Because every other structure that we have depends on the success of this structure. Education system depends on how the marriage and the parents raise the children. Masajid, a whole bunch of families come together and build and make the mosques. Uh, and actually they're the ones that occupy the mosque. That gives value to the mosque. So all the other systems that we've built, that's been built for us or that we ourselves built depends on the success of this relationship. That's why it's so important. To the point where the Prophet ﷺ says, marriage will take care and protect you for, in terms of half of your religion. So you have to be very cautious on the other half. But this is how much support marriage gives to one to an individual to succeed both in this life and in the hereafter. Where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran, He doesn't just say this is just a relationship, but He says this relationship is one of His signs. He has created spouses for you and this is from one of his signs. And all the signs of the Creator are very impactful. Through this relationship, families from across the world will now become in-laws. These in-laws will start having new rights that they didn't have on each other before. And through this marriage, this relationship, it helps both individual to help achieve success at a quicker rate than before. We, the whole point, like if you look at the word insan in Arabic, there's two words that it can be derived from in Arabic. One from the word nisyan. As human beings, we always tend to forget different things. That's just the, something within us. Our deficiency, we can't be all encompassing in knowledge. But the other word that it can come from is anis, means sociable. We always need to have some type of relationship, interaction. A human being that's all to himself and secluded, they can actually go crazy and lose their mind. But when we have social relationships, social gatherings like this, this helps us and actually we, it can help us on an emotional level, on an intellectual level when we talk to one another. In other sense, we need these relationships. And as soon as we come into this world, the first relationship we built is between us and our parents. The only problem with that is, we all know that's a dictatorship. Whatever the parent says, we got to do. And it keeps going until we start thinking like, oh, you know, I'm an adult now. But we still understand that that's the parent. Even if I'm 40, they grew up with me and they're still older. I'm never going to pass them up. They'll always be my parents. They can always tell me what to do. But as we grow up, we start building other relationships with friends and siblings. A lot of equality, have one brother, one sister, no matter how old they are, tell another person what to do. It's like, no, I'm not, I'm not you. you're a brother, I'm, I'm a sister, it's like brother, sister. No one has power over the other. But at the same time, although they're equal, there's no commitment. And a lot of times families split around uh, across the world and there's nothing wrong with that. One will go to school and live in a different country. One will go somewhere else, work somewhere else, and they split up and there's nothing wrong with that. But in this relationship, this is the first relationship that you build which you both are equal and you both committed to sticking together. And this helps the purpose of marriage where Allah SWT says in the Quran after saying it that this is one of his signs, He says, لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا So that you may find peace towards one another. Because you have this equal, intellectual, committed partner next to you throughout your whole life, anything this world has to throw at you, you're able to get through it. Whereas before you were by yourself, now you have this partner with you throughout your whole life. The way to achieve this is right after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمَةً And He has put between you love and mercy. The love, in Arabic there's always multiple words that mean the same thing, but there's little differences. This love requires a person to not only say it, but also to prove it with their actions. This is the love that's needed between a husband and wife. We got away with a lot of different things when we were young. Oh, I love this toy. Oh, I love this. I love that. Now it doesn't apply no more that you can just say it and you don't prove it. With husband and wife, there has to be proof through action that that love that's professed on the tongue is true. And what's coupled with love is mercy. Because no matter who, who it is, no matter how much you love one another, this world puts you in such situations where you're not able to express that love the way you want to every single day. There were times even the Prophet peace be upon him, who was, uh, we considered to be one of the greatest in character. 
his wife to be one of the best women around, uh, among, uh, in this world. They had problems at times. Because why? With this world and the situation that their world has to throw at them. Now their problems were a little more, more harsh. Where there the, uh, the Prophet uh, Muhammad, uh, peace be upon him, his wife said, for two months we ate nothing but dates and water. So there's hardships that they went through. And a lot of times it's hardships, they had to deal with it. But a lot of times, because these hardships happen. Now for us, well, hardships might be a little bit different. Maybe our favorite team just lost the playoff. Maybe something else. It, it can hurt us, but it could also be something serious. Or we lose our job or something happens with, amongst our friends. But sometimes we come back with that baggage. The significant other, sometimes it's the wife, sometimes it's the husband, should understand that I know, I understand, and I know for sure that this, uh, my significant other loves me. But let me show the mercy to get him past this situation so we can get back, get back to our normal love. Finally, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to finish this verse, In that is a sign for those who think. Thoughtfulness is very important in marriage. Uh, we all know this. You know, we think sometimes, oh, you know, when I get a gift, I'm thinking what is best for her, what is best for him, I'll get that gift. But even above that, when not only the giving of gift, but the receiving of gift, there should be thoughtfulness there. You should understand that right now, when you say I love you, and you give each other a gift, it should not differ from 20 years from now that I love you in the getting of gifts, or giving of gifts. It's the same amount of effort that the other person put into, and it should be received with that same thoughtfulness as well too. So this is one verse in the Qur'an that talks about marriage. There's so many verses of hadith, there's so many uh, verses in the Qur'an that explains to us of how to succeed and how to deal with different problems within marriage, always in other parts of our life as, as well too. So this is why as Muslims, we re review the Qur'an as a manual of life. It tells us how to deal with everything that this life has to throw at and what is uh, uh, good and what is bad and what can help us and what will harm us. We can also find this out through trial and error. But why do a trial and error when you have the manual? So it's like you have a machine, you have a microwave, you have a TV. You can sit there and do all the things that you want. You want to build something from Ikea, which we all know that is a problem. Or you can just pick up the manual and read it. But sometimes you still don't say, I can do it. We find that it's upside down. we got to start all over. But we've been given the manual, so we need to use it. and It'll make life that much more easier. So that's just a little bit of, uh, a, 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 you know, just a little talk on how Islam is viewed, as uh, Islam views marriage. Uh, marriage itself, it's because it's so valuable and so important, it's made that very easy to accomplish. Now, mashallah, there's uh, a lot of people, a lot of friends and family, that's uh, every single person that's actually that's attending is joining uh, one of the commandments of the Creator, and you're taking part in doing a good deed. You become a witness to do, do a good deed. Whenever somebody witnesses a good deed, they get rewarded for it as well too. So you're a part of that, and in the month of the Hijjah, you're getting that. So, uh, but only a few things are needed, and for sure those are all completed. But there's only four or five conditions, and with that, with the proposal, and the acceptance, and the dowry, and two witnesses that are needed, on the bride it's on the we're, we're adding a lot more, there's nothing wrong to that, and we can make it more, uh, a lot more, uh, uh, you know, with ceremonial and stuff, and there's nothing wrong with that as well too. But just to show how important it is, Allah SWT has made it very easy for every single person to be married, whether they can do a big marriage, a ceremony or a small one. So with that said, if there's no questions, I will proceed with the uh, marriage itself, and I will afterwards um, ask both the bride and groom, and they will say, I accept, and then we'll make a quick prayer for this marriage to be blessed. We'll take a few signatures, and then you can continue on with the rest of the ceremony. So is there any questions? Everyone's good? Alright. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Inna alhamdulillah nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nasta'gfiruhu wa na'udhu billahi min shuroori anfusina wa min sayyati a'malina. Man yahdihi allahu fala mudillala wa man yudlil fala hadiya lah. Wa nashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah wa ahlahu la sharika lah. ونشهد أن سيدنا مولانا محمد عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه وسلم أما بعد قال تبارك وتعالى بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ومن آياته أن خلق لكم من أنفسكم أزواجا لتسكنوا إليها وجعل بينكم مودة ورحمة إن في ذلك لآيات لقومية تفكرون 
وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم النكاح من سنتي وقال أيضا فمن رغب عن سنتي فليس مني أو كما قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم So after praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and testifying to his oneness testifying to the Prophet of Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم quoting the verse that we just discussed also quoting the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him that where he says marriage is from my way and whoever turns from me is not uh, whoever turns away from it is not from me meaning he'll be taking a different path and may lead to a different destination where he ended up with that now I ask Manal Zahra Ahmed do you give yourself to be the wife of Nicholas John Deacon for the dowry that's agreed upon I do and Nicholas John Deacon do you accept Manal Zahra Ahmed to be your wife for the dowry that's agreed upon I do so mashallah with both proposal and acceptance they are your noble husband and wife before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Takbeer 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 so we'll make a quick prayer for uh, this marriage to be blessed and then we'll take some signatures and then we'll continue on with the rest of the ceremony اللهم إنا نسألك بنا لك الحمد لا إله إلا أنت بديع السماوات والأرض يا ذا الجلال والإكرام يا حي يا قيوم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم لك حميد مجيد يا الله بس تجيب بلس this marriage between Nicholas and Manal we ask that you bless them bless their future bless their children bless the wealth to come and bless everything and make them a means of guidance for one another make them a means of protecting each other's deeds and their words and their actions Make them a means of perfecting each other's character. Make them a means of guidance for their friends and family. Uh, make this a blessed gathering where all those attended uh, uh, are enshrouded in your mercy. Forgive us all for all of our shortcomings. Uh, allow us to get the utmost reward in these blessed days of the Hajjah. Subhana rabbika rabbil azat al maasifun. Wa salamun ala al marsalin. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. So everyone can stay seated for a little bit more. We'll take some signatures on a few certificates and then we'll continue inshallah. And then if we can have uh, the two witnesses, one is uh, Farouk Osmani. Where are you? Oh. <laughs> And then the second one, uh, and myself, I'll stand at the bottom as well. Um, so we can get a, one more certificate to sign. So with that, mashallah, uh, the, uh, the ceremony for actual for you guys being husband and wife is complete. You are husband and wife before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So congratulations to you. Congratulations to everybody, your family. If you give them a few minutes, they're going to read their vows to each other.
Ever since I met you, I knew we had something special. Even if you gave me that, it would be really simple. I love watching you grow into the person you are today for the last few years. I love how kind you are, how you've been going to help you and everyone, and how well you've integrated into my family. Thank you for always being a second force when I needed it, for always supporting me, loving me regardless of the situation, and seeing each other at our best and worst, and somehow still with each I promise to always be there for you through all, the, through our, all our highs and lows. I promise to always support you even when I'm <laughs> I'm excited to start this new chapter of our lives together and see how we continue to grow together for the rest of our lives. Sure. 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 Manal, where do I even start? I think it was pretty obvious from the start that this was something real, whether it was us spending literally every waking minute together or me driving all the way to San Diego a month after we first met just to see you. Like any relationship, it hasn't been easy, but given that one of our biggest arguments was over board games, we're doing pretty bad now. <laughs> over our years together, <clears throat> we've both grown, changed so much, but our experiences together have turned our relationship into more than I could have ever dreamed. You keep me grounded, humble, and most of all, happy. There's so many things I love about you. I love that you always want to try new experiences and retry old ones, like strawberries, which you don't like, <laughs> but you always taste because you know I love them. I love that you're so thoughtful and caring of people, other people's emotions and opinions. I love your smile, your constant joy, and most of all, I love you. <laughs> As we take these vows in front of our closest family and friends, I promise to love and support you, to share my emotions, and listen to yours. Especially if that emotion is anger, <laughs> for which I am always prepared. <laughs> promise to prioritize time for ourselves, even through the madness of life. I promise to treat you like the queen that you are, with respect, <laughs> dignity, and all the love my heart can give. And most of all, I promise to be there for you, through thick and thin, through all the ups and downs, and the beautiful experiences that life has to offer. I love you.
दिन कभी जो खुद को तराशे मेरी नजर से तू जरा अरे आँखों से तेरी क्या क्या छुपा है तुझको दिखाऊं मैं जरा अरे एक कहीं सी दासता दासता कहने लगे हुआ सुबह जो हो रहा है पहली दफा है बल्ला ऐसा हुआ बातें चुन लेना उनकी डोरी से तारीफे बुन लेना हाँ मेरी खामोशी से बातें चुन लेना उनकी डोरी से तारीफे बुन लेना कल नहीं थी जो आज लगती खुद को पुकारे मेरी जुबा से तू जरा अरे तुझ में छुपी सी जो शायरी है तुझको सुनाओ मैं जरा अरे ये तो दिलों का वास्ता वास्ता खुल के बता
Nicholas Emanuel Deacon.
siempre igual es el camino que ilumina el sol. Si parece que el destino más lo alarga para mi dolor, es el suelo donde me hace el carro y me gusta que te sigo cerca de mi amor. Y de vez en cuando, para que me mire yo. Vida mía, de forma que te quiero. Vida mía, piensa en mi regreso, sé que no, no tendrá tu fe.
special shout out to Mario Monti and <laughs> and my now mother-in-law, Umbra. I guess I should call you Mama now, yes? <laughs> um, you guys have been working for months to make this just a perfect night to remember, and I'm so proud to be joining our families. I'm so proud of the daughter you've made. She's amazing. And once again, thank you so much, everyone. Love all of you. And if you could all raise your glasses. Um. Let's raise a toast to our new lives as joint families. For the cake, look in the money ain't the only thing I chase now. She ain't see the stars in the race, so now she got in them at her face down. That my type, that my type, my sweet eh? Go be wifey if she freak I eh? love a night, blow her money like my nabale. I'm a dog, kill a kitty, no apology. I know that you wanna get crazy, crazy. Shawty, take it slow, then chitty, chitty. Come on, baby, be my Hey. Baby, let me see it. Jelly, baby. I just wanna eat it. Jelly, baby. baby, let me see it. Jelly, baby. Oh, I really need it. Jelly, baby. Oh, baby, let me see it. Jelly, baby. I just wanna eat it. Jelly, I, I know the things, the things that you like. Looking like a snack, looking like a whole meal Gucci and Chanel with your red bottom heels Ice drip like Bonnie Burning jack to Nitty Dani Shawty bad, she might be Vani Mastani Light it up from Hollywood to Mojali Tatasha and Derulo, it's a worldwide party I know that you wanna get crazy, crazy Shawty take it slow, then shit, hey, shit, the Come on baby, be my jelly, You know what I'ma say Hey, baby, let me see it I just wanna eat it. Jelly, baby, baby. baby, let me see it. Jelly, baby, baby. <laughs> oh, I really need it. Jelly, baby, oh, baby, baby, let me see it. Jelly, baby, baby. I just wanna eat it. Jelly, I, I know the things, the things that you like. Baby, let me see it. Jelly, baby, baby. I just wanna eat it. Jelly, baby, baby. Baby, let me see it. You know I really need it. Jelly, baby, oh, baby, let me see it. Jelly, The things that you like Yeah Yeah Body will hide with you I know Bum bum, she burn it up like the summer. She turn me on. 
Thank you all for coming from around the world and even Ramona to celebrate our this day with us. This is such a crazy day that we always knew would come, but like never were able to prepare for. It, it's still unreal to experience this. Uh, it's kind of embarrassing to admit, but last week we were out partying to One Direction down in downtown. And me, Meryl, Manal, all of our cousins, we were down there. And uh, there was a one song that hit me particularly called Night Changes. And you know, I just started bawling. One, because I'll never hear a new One Direction song again. And two, because it really, really uh, captured how I felt, how everything kind of just changes so fast, but it's all for the better, but you know, you never know that, and that feeling of unease kind of hits you, and it's a little bittersweet. <laughs> Nicholas, we know she's in good hands, and I know you're starting off your own family soon, and that's a little bit odd to us. <laughs> sister this day has been something that I have been looking forward to my entire life probably. Um, so I literally can't wait for this entire new chapter of your life that um, is now has fun. And I'm so excited that Nicholas is the one that Manal chose to spend it with. <laughs> but also, I gotta remind you, don't have a family too soon because you did drop me as a baby and left me there so like I'm a little scared for your baby because you literally left me there but <laughs> yeah Nola's enough for us right now <laughs> we love Nola anyways Manal you seriously mean so much to the both of us I'm so grateful to have you as my older sister because you've been such a great role model and also a nice person to copy as you know um, whenever I need to complain or get advice you are literally the first person I call. I don't call her just one time. I will call her like 50 times until she answers because she is the person I need the most advice from. And I just love, I just, she gives the best advice. She's also the best sugar mama because whenever I go out with her, I know that my meals and my shopping is gonna be paid for. Literally every time. On a serious note though, I truly cannot put into words how much I love you. I truly appreciate everything you do for me, and you don't know this, but every time you, we would drop you off at college, like drop you off at the airport, drop you off at your dorm, I would literally be secretly crying in the back seat because I just, she's my older sister, so I love her to absolute death and literally pieces, and I would just like miss her so much. But I'm so grateful because over the years, we brought in really close, and so and she, um, she taught me so much. Although she did bully me as a child with my other cousins, that she would lead to bully me, but I seriously don't know where I would be or what I would do without you. And I was like having you with my sister. I'm so lucky to have someone that's not only my sister, but my best friend. Nicholas, from the first time that we met, I knew that you were going to fit right into our family. I've told you before, but I really do look at, you, look at you as a brother. And you really have done so much for this family. And you know that too. Uh, you've also taught me so much and did so much for me, which I truly do appreciate. You also, um, I'm just so happy that you're, uh, you get to officially be a part of our family and also get to be added into our family group chat, which is a big deal. <laughs> I wasn't in, added until like recently. <laughs> Nicholas, I love you. We're brothers now. You know I always got your back. I hope you feel at home with everyone over here. Everyone here has some part to make Manal who she is. Brianna Uncle got her into biomedical engineering. Uh, I think got her into her style. You've seen Thumbopala, her dancing. You know Manal loves dancing too. 
DM Momo are the reason you probably have Nova just festering her love for animals. And yeah, Mario Monty uh, fostered a loud personality too. It's just, yeah, it's, it's just like everyone here just had a very special part in just bringing her up to the person she is today. So I hope you love everyone here as much as you love Manal. Maybe me a little bit more. <laughs> Hey, you have a brother now. <laughs> so, just from everyone and the bottom of our hearts, we love you. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I stand before you today as the best man, charged with the daunting task of encapsulating the incredible bond between Nicholas and Manon. So brace yourselves for a heartfelt speech. Nick is my oldest and dearest friend, my ski partner, and now the luckiest man. We met when I moved three doors down on Theresa Drive in first grade. We've been through it all together. Many, many shared teachers and professors from first through 12th grade, community college, and SJSU. The triumphs of winning competitions and soccer games, failures of bombing special relativity midterms, and the missing of trains in multiple countries where we don't speak the language. <laughs> and everything in between. From the misadventures of our childhood, to the wisdoms gained through the years. I can honestly say you are one of the most remarkable individuals I have ever had the pleasure of knowing. I could stand here and share countless stories that can make us all laugh until our sides hurt. But instead, let's talk about the remarkable woman who has captured Nick's heart. From the moment Nicholas introduced me to you, I could see the sparkle in his eyes, the undeniable connection that they shared. Manal, you are not just the love of Nick's life. You are his partner in crime, his confidant, and his rock. For the past five and a half years, you have brought the best out of him, inspiring him to be the man he was always meant to be. I am grateful for you loving Nick unconditionally and for accepting him, quirks and all, and there are a lot of them. <laughs> As I stand here reminiscing about our adventures, it is clear to me that Nicholas has found his other half. Together they share a love that is passionate, fierce, and unyielding. They challenge each other, push each other to grow and inspire everyone around them with their unwavering commitment. And let's not forget the families who have joined us today. Thank you for raising two remarkable individuals who have found their way to each other against all odds. Your love, support, and guidance have laid the foundation for this beautiful union. And thank you to SJSU for being such a romantic school that laid the groundwork for such a strong relationship through the hours of engineering homework and tests. <laughs> to Nick and Manon, may your journey together be filled with laughter, adventure, and boundless love. May you continue to embrace each other's dreams, aspirations, knowing that you have a partner who will stand by your side through the thick and thin. As we raise our glass, let us toast to the incredible couple, Nicholas and Manon, May your love story continue to unfold, creating a lifetime of cherished memories, and may your bond only grow stronger with each passing day. Here's for a future filled with love, laughter, and happily ever after.
take a moment. Our two best friends just got married. We are so blessed to be able to share in this incredible joy. Heads up, don't, don't look up my speech. I've actually plagiarized that line from Friends where Phoebe said that to Chandler and Monica when they got married. Just, I, I, Phoebe's obviously said everything correctly, you know, just heads up, you know. For those who haven't met me, I'm Azitha, I'm Manal's maid of honor. I've known Manal for the past almost six-ish years. We were roommates in college, classmates in college, and have stuck together ever since. Manal and I met for the first time on Halloween in 2017 at our friend Akasha's place. And we instantly hit it off. Your family's from Karachi? My family's from Karachi. You're studying BME? I'm studying BME. You're an auntie? I'm an auntie. And the rest is history. There is no one better suited for Manal than Nicholas. Manal has always been compassionate, driven, and kind, but she's grown into such an amazing woman today, truly with Nicholas's support and my support, of course. <laughs> For the last five and a half years, I've seen these two continue to lift each other up in ways I could only wish to be supported in a partnership. Manal was an instant connection the soulmate equivalent of a sister, and I'm pretty sure my sisters also agree that she's equally an integral connection and a very important part of my family. Nicholas has grown into the best brother I could ask for, despite, despite for the fact that you fart and blame it on Nola. We, we all know what it's you, dude. We all know what it's you. The pandemic was obviously testing for our friendship. We were all stuck in one house for months on end. We learned to take turns cooking together and really took our skills to the next level. Uh, Manal and I naturally enjoyed cooking daisy food. And anytime Nick and the other friends would come around, we'd sit there watching them, you know, cry a little. It, the tears would fall. It's too spicy, but you know, it's a lifetime of spice for you, bro. Woo! So you guys heard in their vows earlier that their biggest fight was about board games. <laughs> Apparently there's a statistic floating around that uh, in spousal murders, 70% of those murders are committed by women. Now Nicholas, remember to keep date nights alive and never bring up board games Please, because I will help her hide the body. <laughs> All your family and friends in San Diego are so excited that they may that you guys may move here for a little bit and decide to settle here. But we'll see about that. But the one thing I know for sure is that you two potentially moving away from me is more heartbreaking than you guys getting married. <laughs> I'm so excited for your guys' future. I'm so excited to see you two grow individually and together. And I'm more than even more excited to be a Masi one day, so you can get on with the kids. I don't care what Meryl said. I love you guys. Congratulations. I cannot believe we're, you're finally married. I joked about this with the bridesmaids earlier. We really bullied Nicholas into marrying Manal. We really did it. I wish you guys so much love and success in this new chapter of life. And off to Melly.
Give it up for them, they are really good from, from, uh, from Toronto. My sisters, raise your hand from Pakistan. My nephew from London, Daniel. My other nephew from Vancouver, where are you? And now let's hear a big applaud for the Houston the, crowd. The Houston yeah. crowd. Yeah. And yeah. Florida. Florida. the Floridian, the Oklahoman. Of course, you can't forget. You can't forget Michigan. Where's the Michigan girl? And uh, obviously, we can't forget, uh, you know, forget all our friends and family from San Diego. Thank you. 
who don't know me, I'm the I'm Arsana. For those who don't understand me. Oh, he said Minnesota. Oh, we got Minnesota. Yes, Papa. Oh, Minnesota. Minnesota is just not rememberable. <laughs> I'm sorry. She's my, she's my cousin and I love her. Shout out all the way from Minnesota just for the wedding. Yes. New Mexico. New Mexico. Oh my god. Oh yes. Zubia. Kashet. I don't think this, uh, this uh, introduction from this, uh, you know, just from the United States and the world is going to end. We have a huge small family. <laughs> anyway, I hope I didn't forget anybody. But if I did, I'm sorry. But I. Ramona already mentioned by Raj. <laughs> I'm going to downplay that, that one because I still consider them San Diego. They don't like to. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Arsalan, the father of the bride. Also known as the ATM of the family. And I'm sure everybody knows her. And the family, by the way. <laughs> and the dancer. First thing first, I want to address a rumor. It's been said that I was emotional when my daughter was born. That I cried for hours. <laughs> To clarify those are tears of fear. <laughs> Knowing one day <laughs> someone would think they are worthy of marrying her. And I'd be paying for that very <laughs> Well it seems that day has come. And my bank account is empty. <laughs> Now, before we raise our glasses to the newbies, let me take a moment to talk about my beautiful daughter, Manal, the bride. It's indeed a weird sensation seeing, you know, a little girl who couldn't even uh, tie her shoelaces, now all grown up and getting married. Got married. She's married. That's right. I remember, I still remember your best bro. <laughs> well, <three years. laughs> and Nicholas, my son. She may be your wife now. But she'll always be my little girl. Just remember, I'm the one who held her with the AP side <laughs> in high school. That's true. Or up at night till midnight. So if you make her cry, if you ever make her cry, remember, she's very capable of messing up your mind. <laughs> Which, by the way, is the God, God given talent of all my <laughs> Just ask all the married men <laughs> that, that are present here. But I won't blame her for that, by the way. 
Mert a közöttben egy nőfi még is. Now, as I stand here, I can't help but reflect on the range of emotions of Father Peace on his daughter's wedding day. Sorry. The overwhelming pride when you see her walking down the, down the aisle, the relief when you realize you have finally married her off. <laughs> and the joy. <laughs> you, when you consider you have gained a whole extra room to convert. <laughs> to a guest room or my personal man cave. <laughs> It's a real roller coaster, let me tell you. <laughs> you know there are three stages in life where you think you're losing your daughter. First, when she starts re referring to the cool things, you simply don't understand. <laughs> and then you realize they stop laughing at your jokes because all the jokes are dad jokes. <laughs> Those are good jokes. <laughs> <laughs> they are! Second, when they want to leave the city you live in and go away to college. You also realize that, that now they are 18 and adults. And you, are, you have lost the ability to monitor their grades. <laughs> and phones. And their friends. <laughs> and their phones. <laughs> All of a sudden, you realize that they can't answer your phone or your text because they're at the library. <laughs> All night, for the finals. And third, when, they, when she stands up on a wedding day, ready to fly your nest, fly the nest. But then you realize you're not, you're not losing a daughter but gaining a son. And a family. And all that dirty laundry. Every time they visit. Jokes aside, we are increasingly proud to welcome Nicholas to our family. He's a fine young man, and we are grateful that he has made, he has made Manal so happy. And the, and the smile that I see on her face when his name is mentioned. To Nick, Nicholas, just remember, yes dear, and I'm sorry, are the keys to peaceful marriage. And always remember the famous word. A happy wife is a happy life. <laughs> so let's raise our glasses for a toast to Manal and Nicholas. May your life together be filled with love, laughter, and sensible budget. May you face every challenge hand in hand, side by side. And remember, Nicholas, a man who gives in when he's wrong is a wise man. And a man who admits he is wrong even when he's right is a married man. To Manal and Nicholas. Woo! Cheers. And let the party begin. Thank you everyone for coming. I didn't my daughters wanted me to write a speech, my son insisted, but I knew I'm too emotional and I'll be bawling and I'll make everybody cry. I'm one of those emotional mothers and right now all I remember are those babies that you see in the picture. 
Um, they were a year old when we moved from Texas to San Diego. And there's been no turning back. I love you, my San Diegans. All my San Diego friends. Standing on the side. All the friends over there. Sara, I can see you. Sara, Sadia, I can see you guys. You go out with a part in making this home for us. We love you all. And thank you, each and every one of you, for coming. My new San Jose family. Love you all. And Jeanette, I'm coming for the jewelry, baby. <laughs> so thank you, everybody, from the bottom of my heart. Me and my family are honored with your presence for making this day special for us. It's a very special day in our life, and you guys being there made it extra, extra special. My family from all over North America, Pakistan, and if for those who don't know, my sister-in-laws are actually my cousins. So this is all my family. That's from all over the world. So thank you, everybody. Let's give it up for... Thank you so very much. Um, and also, I guess to keep up with the people who have come from far and wide, from Turkey, Boston, North Carolina, DC, Germany, and Switzerland. Thank you. My speech is going to be rather boring. <laughs> Today, we can face any challenge as deep as the ocean and as high as the sky. As we all know, albeit friendship or marriage, human connection is a sacred challenge that binds us together with its ebbs and flows. It can be as smooth as a lake and at times as forceful as a storm. Manoff and Nicholas, we know you will weather whatever comes your way because the two of you have some of the best communication skills that I know of and this has helped you overcome the countless obstacles in your way. Your grit, your determination, and everything you've been through has made you into the amazing people you are today. We are so proud to be part of this amazing journey and passage of life. Mashallah. everyone coming here making this you know joining this happy day sharing with us um, my brother came from Turkey we have friends from Switzerland and Germany and all over the Bay Area and the, you know everywhere I am really happy to see Nicholas and Manal we love Manal and she's part of our family and uh, with Pamela and I, we're just alone, no family here. Now we have extended family.
Yeah. Will fulfill it. You want to see your rubies? Is this part of the, uh, yeah. the, the I saw it. It was your fault. It was not my fault. Yes. Not my fault. They were there for the tourists. No, 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 no. Meryl, where's Meryl? Meryl took them right away. Yeah. We suggested a thousand. We are how can it do like a four? No, 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 no. That's what Meryl is. No, I respect the no, that's why I gave her the big bear.
Mohammed Manal when she was born. As dad was out of town and my grandma was in the room. It's always been on me.
दिसदा नहीं मैं पहला बड़ा दिल कित लगदा नहीं रंगदारा मिले अस तारा वे यारा तेरे बिन मैं तो सारा वे रंग सजना तेरी मलिका टुकड़ा हूँ तेरे दिल का 
एक बार फिर से दहलीज पार करा दे मुड़ के ना देखो दिल भरो दिल भरो मुड़ के ना देखो दिल भरो मुड़ के ना देखो दिल भरो दिल भरो तेरे दिल का एक बार 